Wishing a good day to all my friends. Welcome. Today you are joining us with the 69th design of our website design course. Let's start. First, click on the plus mark at the top corner of the screen and open a new tab. Next, type glitch.com in the address bar and click the enter button. Now you have entered the glitch website. Now, click on the plus mark on the screen again, open another tab and visit dpcode.lk website. Click on lesson number 250. Click on the start project button. Now we have entered the project. Let's make this page editable by clicking the remix button on the top right side. When you click on the preview below and open preview pane, you can see the preview on the right side of the window. First, change the name of the project according to today's lesson. Go to the panel on the left and click settings. Now I click edit project details and type 69 lesson dp code where it says project name. Now click on the save button. You can see that the changed project name is displayed on the left side. Today we will create a web page for a medical center so that a user can make an online booking appointment. In today's lesson we will see how to get the data that a user inputs on a web page into our Airtable database. First of all, open the HTML file. As usual, we have linked the p5.js libraries and the script file. Added some styles and prepared the content for the body. Open the preview and see how the page has been created. Add the background image to the page of the medical center and label the inputs needed for making an appointment. The HTML code is created in a way where an appointment can be booked when you fill in the name email and phone number. Select the date from this calendar, type the purpose of the appointment, select the time you want to book using radio buttons and click the book appointment button below. Thereafter, we now have to record the details inputted by the user as a booking into a table that we create in Airtable. First, go to Airtable and create the table that we need to create the database and Connect it to the script file. Open a new tab and type https semicolon double slash airtable.com slash and enter the Airtable website. Log in to the account and name a new workplace as Silverwing. After that, edit the columns in the tables. Keep the first column as name and name the second column as time. Go to the edit field from its drop down and select single line text. Name the next column as date and select the field type from its edit field as date. Name the other column as email and go to the edit field and select the field type as email. Click the plus mark and create another new field and name it as appointment for and keep it as a single line text and select the field type as phone number. OK. Now connect the table where the data is collected to the script file. Open the account from the account icon on the upper right side and click the go to developer hub button below. Now copy the key from this page. Open the script file in the glitch project and create a variable called key in the second line and type bearer within quotation marks and leave a space and paste it there. Now open the Airtable tab again and click on the Airtable API link and at the end of the first link below the red box. Go to the bottom of this API reference and select the workplace that we created. Now click authentication in the list on the left side, select and copy the URL shown in the black table on the right side. After that, come to the script file and create a variable called URL for appointment in the first line and paste the copied link inside the quotation marks as its URL. Good. Now let's create the function to book an appointment. First, create a function called book appointment empty brackets in the fourth line. OK. Now in the fifth line, create variables called name, email, phone, date, purpose and a time. Next, assign the ID related to the values input by the user to these variables. First, assign a value to the name variable like this. VAR name equal document dot get element by ID within brackets within quotation marks name dot value semicolon. 
Okay, now assign the values to the variables called email font, date and purpose. Now when both purpose and time are selected, assign the value to two variables called purpose and a time. Use if and open two brackets, document.query selector and open another bracket and add a comma and then give input open square brackets name equal within quotation marks purpose close square brackets and then type colon checked. In the next line put double and and then document.query selector and type within quotation marks input open square brackets name equal time close square brackets colon checked inside another bracket as before. Now let's create variables in line 15. Create a variable called purpose and make it equal to document.query selector and open brackets within quotation marks input open square brackets name equal within quotation marks purpose close square brackets colon check and outside the brackets put dot value. In the next line create the variable for a time in the same way and set the input name as time. If the fields we create as input are empty or if it is set as undefined, let's make it so that an error is shown at that time. Come to the 90th line and create an if statement and in brackets give name equal equal empty inverted commas and and to create the empty situation. In the 21st line type name equal equal undefined and 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 to make the case of name undefined now create cases for empty and undefined for a time and do the same for date and email. When it comes to the phone number, we have to look at three cases that is when the phone number is empty, the number of digits of the phone number type in the input is equal to 10 or not and when a non-numeric input is given as the input. Finally, create empty and undefined cases for the purpose. If the cases mentioned above are true or in other words, if the content entered in the field types of the input fields by the user is incorrect, the following error code will be displayed. Type document.getElementById within brackets within quotation marks error dot style dot visibility equal within quotation marks visible. Now come to the HTML code to use the relevant ID and set the error message. In this way, open a div tag in the 31st line and give the ID as error and set the style to visibility colon visibility colon hidden semicolon. Then type the error message as a paragraph below like this. There was an error with your submission. Please check your input. Good. We have now spoken about what should happen if a user enters the booking details incorrectly or if they leave it empty and submit. Now let's ensure that the appointment gets booked if we fill the fields properly. In the 36th line, create an else statement, create a variable called new appointment inside it. Now type the conditions that make the previously created variables to be true in the field like this. Okay. Next, if the fields have met these conditions in line 48, create the fetch function to send a request to our AR table. Use fetch and open brackets and type URL for appointment comma and open curly brackets and then method colon and then in quotation post and give authorization colon key comma in the headers colon curly bracket and give content dash type in the quotation marks and type colon application slash json. Next, come out of the curly brackets and put a comma in a new line. Give body colon json dot stringify and mention new appointment inside the brackets and close the brackets after that. Finally, if the request is successful, the booking should be successful and it should load to another page. So let's add a page link and complete the code in this manner. Dot then inside the brackets response is equal to greater than response dot json and keep the empty bracket and again from the below line dot then inside the brackets data is equal to greater than curly bracket and use console.log and again open brackets and within quotation marks type appointment book successfully. Close brackets and add semicolon and in the next line 
and type window.open open brackets open quotation marks success.html close quotation marks comma open quotation marks underscore blank close quotation marks close brackets semicolon and provide the page okay now our silver wing appointment web page is ready open preview from the new window look when one of the fields is left empty and i click on the book appointment button an error message is displayed even if the other fields are filled correctly and the number of digits in the phone number is less than 10 the same error message will appear when we fill these text fields correctly another page will be loaded also when you check our database at that time you can see that the details we input have been recorded so friends our lesson for today ends here in the next lesson let's learn how to update data to a database where our data has been added whatsapp your design to me on the phone number note 7681252 Tell your friends about the design. Check out this app to send to me and spell as to your friends. And one more thing, join the DP Coding School Telegram group. Try to be the DP Code Champ best of the week every week. Stay connected with us. And one more thing, join our DP Coding Club and now you can start a DP Coding Club in your school. We are ready to give all the guidance for that. If you are interested in starting DP coding clubs in any school that has computer labs, please send a request through the principal to the email address info at dpcc.lk. Okay, let's meet again with another interesting lesson through DP Coding School. Have a good day.